Well, good morning, Stampers. How are you guys? Oh my gosh. Anybody else having trouble today? Uh, yesterday, I watched a, a friend of mine did her Facebook Live. It hasn't happened to me, but she turned green in the beginning. And the other day, I had difficulty getting on here to Facebook. Then when I got ready, I misplaced two of my cards and I was like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? Because you have to see these two cards on here. Oops, let me turn that down. <laughs> the laptop's been acting up as well. So um, on Monday, if you saw my Facebook post, I had three of my Lily's crafters came over here. I love, I mean, I have missed these ladies so much. I miss all of the ladies and all of my crafters, don't get me wrong, but every single Monday at 10 a.m., we would all meet and we would craft together. And then for the last hour, we would all have lunch or brunch or breakfast or whatever. And you get to know each other and talk about each other's lives. And it's just really nice to get to know these. It, I'm dating myself, but does anybody else remember like the old men that would go to like the barber shop or the donut shop or something like that. It's kind of like that. We're not old ladies, so we are just, you know, in our prime. 50 is the new 30. That's what I keep telling myself, right? So, and my phone has, whoops, has been acting up as well. So I've got the portable charger going right here. So I hope that's working. So if you see the, the cord here, don't be, don't be alarmed. It's just my cord got my laptop. It looks like everything's all in. So, okay. Well, on Monday, what I showed the ladies, and I did this very, very small scale because we did it out in the garage and everybody had to bring their own stuff to work on because, you know, right now we want to make sure everybody stays safe. So, um, Everybody brought their own projects to work on. Some of the ladies brought paper pumpkins. I actually showed how to do the thumping technique, which was one of the uh, tutorials that went along with their paper pumpkin alternate. You guys know if you're not a paper pumpkin subscriber, you get some fabulous alternates from me. Um, I, I coordinate with, actually now we're up to four other ladies for our alternates, but they do a lot of the 3D items, and a lot of my crafters prefer the cards. So we get 10, ide uh, 10 ideas with these other group of ladies, and then I go on and make a few extra cards for my ladies because they prefer cards. And I'm saying ladies, I have two male crafters, but they're both not Paper Pumpkin subscribers, so I don't think they'd be offended anyway. But in that vein, we always do alternates. So one of the alternates that we had done was a thumping technique. So as part of their paid subscription with their paper pumpkin with me as their demonstrator, I actually demonstrated it to them while they were there. For the other people, they all got the written tutorial. Again, that is only for my customers that are under me for Paper Pumpkin. So we did that, but one of the things I wanted to show them, because, you know, let's face it, we wanted to talk. I wanted to show them this class. Now, this idea is not mine. It is from a lady named Shannon West, like North, South, East, and West, Shannon West. And she works at home office at our Stampin' Up! place, and she apparently shared this. I missed it, but it's all over the internet. It's called a double wonder. You guys have heard me do and seen me do the one sheet wonders. Well, this is a double wonder. With the typical one sheet wonder, you take one 12 by 12 sheet and you use that to make cards. Well, what Shannon did is she took two of the six by 12 sheets and she made, I think there was one, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten, 11 cards. There were 11 cards. So what I showed the ladies is I showed them how to cut this. So for Nancy, Nancy F like Frank, Nancy C like Charlie, and Wendy, those three ladies were here. They already have the idea on how to cut it. For the rest of you, you're going to watch me cut this. There is not a tutorial for this, so you do have to watch the video for it. So I'm not going to pay attention to the comments right now because if I cut it wrong, then I'm not showing you very well on this. So I wanna make sure that I cut it right. So if you do see somebody come up and say, hey, is there a tutorial? If somebody could help me out and just say, nope, no tutorial, watch the video. So you want two of the six by 12 papers. And I chose these two papers. And if you see, they both have different sides. For those of you who know, Magnolia was one of my favorite stamp sets. And the stamp set is saying, but the paper is going. They also have a bulk 
paper that was originally only available to demonstrators and then they made it available to the public and these are the two sheets that you get in there you get 10 of each of these two sheets and it's 17 dollars i will post the item number but if you want to get onto my online store and just type in magnolia it should show up as one of your choices you want the one that says bulk b-u-l-k bulk so anyway i did these two when I showed them how to cut it on Monday. So I'm gonna set these two aside. For the purposes today, I'm going to use the Parisian, um, the Parisian paper. Now, the only thing that you do need to do is if you're going to do this and there is a set design, like this one has the wording, you want it in landscape form. You want it to go straight across. You do not want it portrait. You want it landscape so that you can see the landscape. You want to see the sunrise, sunset, the whole nine yards. So that's the 12 inches long this way, and it's six inches on the short. I want to make sure everybody understands that. And then this one, there's not really an upside or a downside on it. And this one, there's not really an upside or a downside. And on the back on this one, there's not, there is, but there's not, because it looks like they all are going up this way, but you have a couple going wonky sideways and all that. So there's really not an up or a downside. The only one that really matters on this one is the wording. So on this, again, landscape, if you've got a specific design. So you want it the long side, 12 inches, six inches in height. Okay. So I choose to do both of these together. You can do them one at a time. It is totally up to you. Now on this, you're going to want your trimmer. And I have reversed mine. When you buy this, um, this was down here on the bottom. The light was down on the bottom and the dark was on the top. I use my cutting blade more frequently than I use my scoring. The dark that matches here, that's the cutting. That's the easiest way to remember it. The lighter one, the odd man out, that's the scoring blade. If you have any questions, you can flip it over. Oh, let me get a light here. You can flip it over and you can see on there, and I know this is gonna be in your way here for a second, but this, uh, you can see that that's the scoring blade and then the sharp piece there, so don't put your finger on it, is the cutting blade. And if you don't have our new trimmer yet, and you can see I have a piece of paper stuck down in there. I'll have to get my scissors and get that out. Um, there is no longer the little mat. So before we used to have to press down really hard and cut it. You don't have to do that now. You just, and it's done. Okay. Alrighty. So now we've had the little tutorial on this. The first thing you're going to do, and you can do one way or the other. It doesn't matter. I'm going to start on this side here. What you're going to do is you're going to cut this at three and a half inches. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to line this in here and we're going to do three and a half inches. Whoosh, three and a half, right? So there's my three and a half and I'm just going to set that aside over here. Then this next piece you're going to take and you're going to cut four inches. And again, if you're going to do both of them at the same time, make sure they line up so they don't get um, discombobulated. Whoosh. Okay, so there's my four inch. So just to make sure we understand, this is three and a half, this is four, and then this would be four and a half. Four and a half plus four is eight and a half, plus three and a half is 12. There's your 12 inches across. I hope that makes sense. Alrighty, so with that, I'm gonna take this and set that aside. I'm gonna take this, set that aside. So here's my three and a half by six inch piece. So you're taking your three and a half by six inch piece, and the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to cut off two of them, you're gonna rotate it this way, and you're gonna do two and a quarter. So lining that up, I've got two and a quarter right here. Oops, make sure it stays. Whoosh, there's two and a quarter. And then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna do the same thing again, two and a quarter. Oh, you know this little bandage thing on here, Oh my gosh, I keep, I had a regular Band-Aid on it the other day and I kept bumping it. So for those of you who don't know, I cut my finger last week and um, it was a serious cut. I did actually have to go to the urgent care because I couldn't, uh, I couldn't get it stopped. So um, they wrapped it all up and they did all kinds of stuff with it. Well, it's now to the point that I can wear a Band-Aid, but I keep bumping it into stuff. So I still have it all wrapped up really icky. So I apologize on that. So here is the three and a half inch piece, but I can't bend it well. So here's my three and a half inch piece. I'm actually going to cut that straight in half at one and three quarters. 
Oh, thank you, Sue. I just saw that you shared that. Thank you. This is the Double Wonder, and it is not mine. It is from Shannon West, who's part of Stampin' Up! She's from the home office. She's actually a sweetheart of a nice person. I've met her a handful of times. So this is where I'm getting this from. So here I've got, I cut those directly in half. So one and three quarters. So there's my three, there's not a tutorial on this. You do actually have to watch. So here's my three and a half inch by two and a quarter, three and a half inch by two and a quarter. And then this is the extra leftover piece. Oops. Mm -hmm. The extra leftover piece. Well, mm -hmm. this silly thing is just not wanting to work for me making sure it's on here on my um, laptop so I can see what you guys are seeing. But this is a great tutorial, um, and it's a great way to use up some of your paper, especially since all of our papers are retiring. All of our designer series papers are retiring. So two and a quarter inches tall, three and a half inches wide. I, both of those are the same. And I'm gonna move this over there. And then both of these two, this is the leftover, what is that, about one and a half, one and a half inches by one and three quarters. So that's that leftover piece there. So I'm gonna move these both off screen so that you know those are off. Then I'm gonna take my four inch piece. Okay, let me see if I can get this on. I hope I'm doing okay that you guys can see everything. It looks like it is, because I just saw Sue share that, which I do appreciate. So this is four inches wide by six inches tall. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna flip this over this way and I'm going to cut off a three quarter inch piece. So remember, there's no tutorial on this. You do actually have to watch. Alrighty, and I'm just taking three quarters of an inch off, boom. Now, for those of you who've ever made cards with me before, you know, I'm just gonna set that there. This is four inches by five and a quarter. This is what fills into a card front usually. I think I have one, yep. See if you take it that way. This is what normally fits right there onto your card front like that. So that's always real pretty, but I wanna get extra cards out of it. And again, I'm following Shannon West's example. So what she did was with this piece here, because it's four inches wide, you cut each one of them at one inch. So I'm gonna set that here at one inch. We're close enough to, there we go. And I'm just whoosh. Well, there. And again, because I'm cutting two pieces at once, I want to make sure that they stay together on this. These double wonders are so pretty. I have seen them all over the internet. They are just beautiful. Of course, mine's going to be the prettiest one of all, right? Anybody else ever think that, oh, well, my card's so pretty. And then you go looking and, you know, comparison is the thief of joy, guys. So don't compare your cards to anybody else's, please. Please, 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 please. All right, so there's those. I'm going to set this aside so you can see. So this was the four-inch piece. And I've got four one-inch pieces here. One, two, uh, three, and then four. And then remember, I had cut off that little three-quarter inch piece. So that's that middle section. Does everybody understand that? Okay. So on those, I'm actually going to stack these and move these to the side. If I'd have been thinking, I should have grabbed a piece of uh, long paper and put them on there so I could just whoosh and bring them right back over to you, huh? Okay, so there's those. This last piece, now this is the four and a half inch by six inch piece. Now this one is kind of fun and you have a choice because you're going to cut these into six inch pieces. I do better with larger pieces. So it's up to you how you want to do. You're going to cut these, it's four and a half inches. So we're going to cut them in thirds. So one and a half and then the next piece we're going to cut in half at one and a half. And then you're going to rotate it and you're going to cut this at the three inch point. So each one will be one and a half inches wide by three inches in length. So because I do better with bigger pieces, I'm gonna do the one and a half inch piece first. So since I know it's four and a half, minus one and a half is three inches. So I'm gonna go right there for three. Because that over here, in case you did not know, see this dark line right here where that fits? And I'll show you in a second. That's one and a half inches on our trimmer. You just whoosh. And again, we're gonna take that off. So see, it's right, right when it butts up to there, there's a little groove. That's your one and a half inch piece. So we're gonna go again together like this and do one and a half. And you're gonna make sure it lines up, but you're also gonna make sure that it goes up here so that it butts up to there. So that way then it is square. And I prefer to slice up. You can do however you want. Whoosh. So I've got three 
I'm gonna move this aside. So now I've got three one and a half inch pieces. They're each one and a half inches wide by six inches in length. So that's how you've got those. Then I'm going to take them and I'm gonna cut them apart into threes or into twos in half at the three inch point. So I'm just gonna come over here and do three. And I'm just gonna set those there so you can see that. See if I can move that over a little. This Parisian paper is just beautiful. Oh my gosh, we were talking about it. I was talking about it to a girlfriend of mine. She was like, oh, I'm gonna have to get me another package of that before that goes away. I'm like, girl, I don't blame you. I got some uh, per, uh, petal pink paper and I ended up ordering a bunch more than what I needed for something. So I have like four packages which is great because I love that color, this petal pink paper. It matches beautifully on here. Okay, so here you can see each one of these is one and a half inches wide by three inches in height. Okay, so that's your last section. So we got all that. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to set those, you know what, I'm gonna let you see what they look like here all together because I already put some cards together so that you could see what it all looked like when it was all assembled. Alrighty, and then here is this one that goes here, and then we've got our two. See, this is where I said I should have just grabbed a large grid paper, and that way then you could have seen it all, huh? And then we've got this one, this one, here and here. So that's how your six inch by 12 inch piece of paper looks. Does everybody, can I get a thumbs up if that's making sense to everybody? Well then, what you're gonna do, and now I used, because like I said the other day when the ladies were here, I did the magnolia paper here, okay? So I went ahead and I already put together some of them, but I'm gonna show you how I did it. With that paper, I took three of these. This is my first card, and you're gonna be able to make four of this. So I'm taking three of them, and again here on this one, see there's my petal pink, because I love petal pink. What you can do is you can just put them directly here on the card front, and then you can put your sentiment across it. However, you know me, I just, I like to do it a little bit different. I actually took a piece of paper, and you can make it any size you want. Remember, there's no tutorial on this, none whatsoever. And I just took it, and I guess these are three, so that'd be roughly three and a quarter, and I think it was five inches. Let me see. Yeah, I did a three and a quarter inch tall by five inch piece of same color here. And what I did was on these three pieces, I took them and I know you can't see very well, but I don't want to mess those up. So here's that one. And I took this one and I put my adhesive here because I like this. You know what? I think I like it on this way better. And I'm just going to line that up over here. And if you ever do threes, you always do the outsides and that way then you can center it into the center. So because I want it like this, I did not want that. I want the green here separating. And again, you can still flip it over. Oh, I didn't. Well, on this side of this one is this pink striped. I wasn't a fan of the pink striped. So I'm going to take this one here and I'm going to put that. I should have looked. Mm, yeah. And then over here, I'm going to put these on this side here. And you're just lining it up there on the corner so that you make sure that it's kind of there on the corner where it belongs. Now you take your middle piece and it makes it easy to center. That way then you can get an even gap between this one and this one. Again, it's not having to be perfect, guys. I promise you, if it's not perfect, your recipient will still absolutely love your card. Now this, this one's going down and this one's going up, so I want this one on here to be on the top. And all I'm gonna do is kind of eyeball it here in the center and make sure about that the gaps are even, okay? So now I've got this piece and all I'm going to do is I can put that directly on here with like dimensionals. I can wrap a piece of ribbon around it, anything like that. Um, to tell you what a nerd I am, I'm actually going to take this piece and run it through an embossing folder. So I'm not adhering it onto here. And at the end, after I move all of this, I will show you how each of the cards look when they're on each of them, okay? So this is one card and you will make four of those because there's three pieces. You have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. 12 divided by three pieces is four. So you're gonna make four cards of this one. Then, let's 
see, so there's that. So I'm gonna move these aside because we've used up all of those on your four cards. So those are done. Then you're going to use these four pieces here. And what you're going to do, and I've already put these together, is you're going to take your card, and it's just the regular card. Here, let me do it this way. You're gonna take your regular card and you're gonna score here at one and a quarter. Remember, these are one inches. So you're gonna take your card from here, and I want it on this one, so I'm gonna open it up, but if I score it that way, the valley's on the wrong way. No, that is the right one. The valley's the right way, so I want one and a quarter. Wait a minute. It's a fold that way, so yeah, I did have it backwards. One and a quarter. And I get, you can use your trimmer. It's got the, um, the scoring blade on it. I'm just old school. I still prefer my, my thing here. And I did do that backwards. Yep, I did. Well, it is what it is. Okay, so then you're just gonna trim that flap that way. And you're gonna grab your bone folder here and you're just gonna line that down. Now, eventually I adhered um, adhesive onto that so that flap stays closed. Don't do that yet. But what you're going to do is you're going to take these and you're going to put one here. Okay, so there's that. And then you're going to put one here. And you can choose which way you want it to go. You can put the blue oops, there. You can put the petal pink there. If you want the blue here on the inside, you can do that. If you want that, that's not my favorite. I would probably do this is what I would probably do. And I might flip this one upside down like that. So that's what I will probably do. The way I'm going to show you, though, and I didn't, is you'll put your adhesive on here and then center it on this piece first, this little flap. And you see how I have it open so I can see where the borders go. So after that is on there, whoops, after that is on there, you're going to flip this over, put your adhesive, put your adhesive here, and then close it. Did that make sense to everybody? And then your last piece is you're gonna put that here. And again, I'll show you what it looks like once we're done. But again, you're gonna get one, two, three, four cards out of that. So you're gonna take four of your card fronts and you're gonna score that at one and a quarter. That way then you have the four cards and you can mix and match them. Say you want this one this way, say you want the other one, you know, say you do like that. You can flip that over like there. You can flip it going however you want. These are yours. No two should be alike unless you want them to be alike. So there's the four pieces on that one, and you're gonna make four cards of that. So there's one, two, three, whoops, well, seriously, and four. So there's your four, okay? So that's that card design, so we're gonna set that aside. And then, <laughs> what you're gonna need is this set here, and these two. And the way these are going to work, so we've got those two little pieces left. The way these are going to work are, you're going to take whatever paper you want. The way I did mine was I set this up here like that, and I put this one down here like that. And then on this, I flipped it over and I could put that in the center, or I could put that in the center. So what you do, the easiest way I found to do it was to adhere it this way. So you set that down there like that, Adhere it, go center it down here. You wanna to try to make both sides about equal here. So there's that. Then this piece here, what I did was I just kind of butted it up to that. I put my adhesive here and then I just lined that up right to that. So that way then I knew I was straight. And I just wanted to have a little bit of a border up there on the top. Then this piece came in here and I just flipped it over and I went that way. Now, because you're using the same two, this is what you're, because if you do that same one, they're gonna match. So if you wanted, you could do this and this and then put this one here in the center. Or you could put this one here in the center and then you're gonna do the same thing with the other one. So I hope that makes sense. So you're gonna get two of these cards because you've got two going this way and then your two little strips. And I'll show you what that looks like in the end. So that's that card. Then the last one is, and on this one, this is totally up to you. What you're gonna do is you're going to put these on here like this. Whoops. So those go together like that. Now, and I'm just gonna grab a black piece on here. I chose to instead grab a piece of this, and this is 
four inches wide by three and a half inches tall. So four inches by three inches is this piece here. And what I chose to do was put these on here like this. Now I will use a different shade. I will probably use brown on this, the espresso on that. And then that can go on to there. And what you're gonna do on this is you do the corners first. So you do this corner and then you line it up here and do that corner. And then you just kind of walk it around so that each of the corners are done. There's a larger gap in the center and that's okay because what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your sentiment there. So that is your extra card, that's your 11th card. So with that, let me show you. Okay, let's see. All right, the first one is, remember those 12 pieces that we did of those? And I took this here. Again, I'm going to run these through an embossing folder because I want them as an embossing folder. And then I will pop dot. I will put dimensions on this. So I did the petal pink on petal pink. I did the black on white. And I thought this kind of looked like um, would be a beautiful sympathy card for somebody. And then the last two I did here on the... Um, Mossy Meadow, because those are the colors that coordinate. Now, guys, on the Mossy Meadow ones here, you are going to have to put a white insert on the inside. But how striking is that when it's dimension? if it's up on dimensionals, this is all embossed, and then it has the ribbon and the sentiment on it. Now, you can see these have three different, and they're all the same. They're all the same designs. So I've got them all together. But when I did it that way, that left this, because here's two, four, there's six of those two are the same. Because you can see here on the white, the green is on the back. So that's my six. That meant I had six of the black ones. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's why I made all three of these fit on here. But I thought that one would make a beautiful sympathy card. So there are the four designs. And again, I'm going to run each one of these through an embossing folder and dimension them up. So that is those little pieces. Then taking the stripped pieces, those guess it would be eight pieces. You're also going to make four cards. And I did those here this way. I did one with the mossy meadow. I did one with the petal pink. And then I did two here in the white. Now, again, on the mossy meadow, I had to put a piece inside of it. And I think this was three inches by five. Double check it, but I wanted a little bit of a border here. So that way then it hid underneath this piece here. And I wanted the white on the inside because I wanted the more striking on the outside. But on this, I wanted the white on the outside and I wanted the more striking here on the inside because I don't need something in there. So again, that's those four right there. Then the next two, so that's eight cards. If you're keeping track, that's your eight cards. Then remember these pieces here that I showed you how you would do top, center, oops. I don't like that one. Top, center, and bottom like that. Well, here's what these look like. And I did one on the mossy meadow and one on the petal pink. And on this one, I did it, I had more of a border here on the bottom and the top. So this just perfectly fit in there. However, on this one, I left less of a border on the top and bottom. And that way then there's a little teeny tiny bit of that pink border in there. So there is that one using here. So now we're up to 10 cards out of two six by 12 sheets of paper, right? Then the last one that I did was remember those four little squares that I showed you and I just did it that way. Well, what I did was I put them on the piece of black. Remember me showing you here? I put those on the piece of black. And again, I'm gonna run this one through an embossing folder and then I'm going to put a dimensional up on this. Now guys, on this one, you can go this way or if you prefer to do it here, you can do it that way and then put your sentiment down here. This one is totally up to you. This is kind of like a bonus card, an extra card, because you're only making one of that one. So that gave you all of the card design. So here, I'm just gonna set those down like this so you can see which ones went which way. There's that one. And again, this is using our beautiful designer series paper, which you know all of our beautiful designer series papers are going away. Every single one of them. I think I like the pink one the best. Let's put the pink one there on the top. 
every single one of them. So guys, if there's a paper that you like, you are going to want to order it as soon as possible. A lot of the papers are currently marked down. These would make great kids cards if you use that birthday bonanza, those cute little um, kids ones on there. There, I think you can see everything. My laptop hasn't like caught up. Like I said, I think something might be wrong with the internet on that one. So this is how you can make 11 cards out of one whole sheet of paper. But because this is Shannon West's double wonder, you're gonna use two six by six pieces in order to do these. And I showed you how to cut. And for those of you who have just turned, tuned in, there's not a tutorial on that. I'm not offering a tutorial on this one. So you'll just go back and watch the video on how to do it, and then you can change it up. Now, what I'm going to tell you, because you just saw I made 11 of these with the Magnolia, and I have the paperwork to do 11 of the Parisian papers, that gives me 22 cards, and usually there's more than 22 viewers on here. So guys, if you like this, on my group, it is called the Latte Joy Stampers Group, and it is a private group, okay? You do have to request to join, and you do have to answer two questions, one of which is you're not going to be negative, and the other one is that you're not going to sell. Okay, that's it's my business page, so it is for me and my customers. So what I'm going to challenge you to do is, one, if you're not already a member of my group, please ask to join, and I would love to add you to it. But two, I would love to see the cards that you make with this. So if you would, uh, today is Wednesday the 6th, and guys, we are tied up this weekend. I just welcome to Life 101, right? If you wish... You are welcome to post your cards, take one picture of all 12 of them, and post them on the group. And as soon as you do, now guys, again, you this is my business page, okay? So please, again, it's for customers or my friends. So if you're a friend of mine, I'd love to see what you guys are making. Post a picture of your cards and then I'll send you one of the cards that I've made. So try not to use the Magnolia one, so that way then you have an extra, or the Parisian one, so that way then you have an extra, or I can send that to you if you use the Magnolia or the Parisian. These are the 22 cards that I'm gonna have to send out. So I will take a picture and post them. I'm gonna add ribbon and bling and the sentiments on it and all of that, and then I'm gonna take a picture of it so you can see what they look like. And I will share that here on my business page here, on my business, um, the Dawn Stock Stampin' Up! Demonstrator page that you're watching this. But I'm also gonna share the picture on my Latte Joy Stampers group, the one for my customers and my friends. So if you would like to share yours, I would absolutely love to see what they look like. But again, it is a private group, so you do have to request to join. And I think that's it on that. So I hope that made sense. I hope that actually goes together. If you are interested, this is the current host code right now. I'm not doing a birthday card class this month. So uh, you'll probably just get the all occasions card class for your, um, for your orders. $35 or more gets you the all occasions. $50, $50 or more. And this is merchandise, guys, before shipping and tax gets you the all occasions card class as well as the talented tutorial team that beautiful tutorial of 15 different designs and there was something else oh nope that was it because i did the celebration last month so that's what uh that's what you'll get for that you can go to dawnstock.stampinup.net uh, let's see if it's there dawnstock.stampinup.net use the host code if it's under 150 dollars if it's over 150 you'll still get the items just you get your own host rewards on that and the final thing I have to offer to you guys is on Saturday, that is in just, what, today's Wednesday, so we're not going to count Wednesday, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, in three days, I'm going to do an online workshop. I'm going to set up its own Facebook page, its own Facebook group. Anybody can join it. Just let me know if you want to join it. I will do several make and takes onto that so you can see it. We'll talk about, you know, if you want to save a lot of money and become a demonstrator and become your own best customer, that'd be great. Ooh, 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 ready? Okay, ready? Guess what I got in the mail yesterday? There's my catalog. That's mine. It's mine. It's already bound. It's ready to go. Can't show you anything on the inside, but demonstrators, we actually have access to the catalog. So I'm gonna talk with you about that. I can't show you anything yet because my stuff isn't here yet, 
but um, I have that. So Stampin' Up! was kind enough to send those to us. And like I said, I got mine bound and it's all ready to go. So let me see if I can, oh, wow, there's a lot of comments. Thank you guys. I love seeing the comments. Thank you. Marsha's on. Good morning, Miss Marsha. Miss Lori Minicho. Hello, Miss Brenda. Hello, Miss Brenda. Brenda is one of our Lily's ladies. And unfortunately, she had something else going on on Monday, so she wasn't able to attend. But we, we had a good time. And Brenda, we knew you were with us in spirit. Marsha says, good morning. Good morning, Miss Marsha. Good morning, Miss Lori. And then Nancy, hello, Miss Lori. She says, good morning as well. My friend Bonnie, good morning. Bonnie is part of my team, and I gave them a little, um, not a scavenger hunt this morning, but it was like, hey, uh, you can look this up. Who, who first one wins? And Bonnie got on, I don't know, uh, there's two of my ladies that were on, and I had an answer within minutes. It was so funny. Oh my gosh, they were just on it. And then Bonnie logged on like right afterwards. I was like, holy cow, you guys are like all online first thing in the morning. I love it. So here's my heart to you guys. Thank you. But Bonnie, good morning. Oh, good morning, Miss Carol. Uh, Carol says, good morning. And the sun is shining. Um, here in Ohio, it looks like it's trying to peek out, but I don't see it yet. Catherine from Jacksboro, Tennessee. Good morning, Tennessee. Oh, my friend Summer is on. Hello, Miss Summer. She says, good morning. Hello. Sue Thomas, hello again. And thank you again, Sue, for sharing this. This is such an easy one. And again, it's not my idea. It was from Shannon West. But let's face it, we can all copy and share. That's what they call casing. Shannon put it out there on the internet. It's not... Once you put things out there on the internet, guys, you lose all exclusivity. So if you don't ever want anybody copying your stuff, don't put it out there. I mean, just keep it to yourself. But then again, we're kind of going against what, you know, the talents are with the master. So we'll go on that. So thank you, Miss Sue, for sharing that. And thank you for letting me know that it looked good. Oh, good morning, Miss Cheryl from Alaska. Oh, Sue Thomas is pretty. Lori says, shared. Thank you so much, Miss Lori, for sharing that. My friend Kathy is watching. Hello, Miss Kathy. Oh, Faye. Hi, Faye. I haven't seen you in forever. Oh, I'm so glad you like those examples. Um, Kathy says, I'm actually catching you live. Wow. <laughs> cute, cute cards. Well, thank you, Miss Kathy. I appreciate that. Kathy makes beautiful cards. I have cased a few of hers before. Uh, Nancy says, pretty cards. You crack me up telling, teasing us with the catalog. Well, Nancy, you and I have talked about this. You could have the catalog. I have been talking to you about this. But I'm not ever going to twist anybody's arms. If you want the catalog, join. You can have access to it now. And you get a better discount than I do. Come on. It's like a great deal. And I would love to have you as part of my team. You know that, Miss Nancy. I give you grief, but you know how much I love you, sweetheart. Um, Nancy is um, one of my Lily's ladies. She came over on Monday as well. If you look at the picture, she's the one with the pretty purple mask because she likes purple. If I ever do a card with purple there at Lily's, I could probably do one of my least favorite cards, but if it's purple, Nancy and Angela both like purple. Both of them will love the card because it's purple, and I love that about them. They have such strong feelings for that purple, and it can be any shade of purple. I don't think they discriminate. It's just purple, and that is just wonderful. So every now and again, I try to throw a purple one in there. But Nancy, what I was starting to say, my team meeting is on Tuesday next week, and we're trying to work it out that we can do just like what we did with the Lilies ladies on Monday. We're trying to work that out that we can get together, but everybody all has to bring their own stuff. Well, Nancy, I don't know why I thought about that, because I told the ladies, bring a folding table, bring a tray table, do something, because they had to bring their own items, and we weren't sharing anything, right? Nancy, I mean, it's like, gosh, why don't we slice bread and put it in a plastic sleeve here, you know? Nancy brings a large uh, cookie sheet, and I'm like, oh my gosh, why did I not think of that? I could have just told people, bring a cookie sheet, and you've got your own table right there. Duh, right? So thank you, Miss Nancy. I already shared that with my team. Bring a cookie sheet. And Miss Sue says, I will have to do this. It is fun. This is just, and again, it's Shannon, uh, Shannon West did this from home office. This was her idea and I loved it. She says, we have sun in the Northwest state, part of the state of Ohio. Perhaps it's coming your way. Ooh, that's right. You are from, I think I told you, my son is going to ONU this um, fall. Hopefully, knock on wood, that they have classes, that they have meeting classes. So I don't know how far away you are from ONU, but... I might have to have you be his mom away from home here, okay, if you don't mind. 
you know, 18-year-old sometimes. Now, thankfully, my son is a wonderful young man. Um, for those of you who missed the other day, this was the note. I have it right here on my laptop because I just thought so sweet of him. He heard me say before I went to sleep on Monday night that I needed to get up and set my alarm, and I fell asleep in the recliner. So he set, it says, set alarm for you, couldn't remember exact time, sorry. He set that for 3 o'clock in the morning because he knew I usually get up at 3 o'clock in the morning when I have to do something online. So he's a great kid. So Sue, if you don't mind kind of adopting him up there by ONU, if you're not too far from it, I would absolutely love that. So we'll see. And then my friend Sharon uh, Thompson is on. Well, good morning, Miss Sharon. How are you? I hope you are doing well. I hope you and Jim are both doing well. And I hope Blair is doing well. So with that, guys, I think that was a fast and easy one. I talked more, but that way then you knew how to do everything. And again, uh, give me a few hours so I can do up the other cards and run everything through the embossing folders. And that way then I can take two group pictures and I'll post them on my Latte Joy Stampers group. And again, you do have to request to join and you do have to answer those questions. So remember, no being mean, no being negative, nothing like that. And... The other thing is no selling. It's it's for my customers and my friends. So I'm the only one who gets to sell on that. My group, my rules, right? So I hope you guys have enjoyed this greatly. I love seeing your comments in here. Paulding County, I'm not sure where that is. Joshua will be up in Ada. They said pretty much right there at Ohio Northern, they put a campus right in the middle and there's nothing else nearby there. So I'm not sure where Paulding County is from Ada, Ohio, and I don't even know what county Ada, Ohio is in. So we will have to chat there, Miss Sue Thomas. Definitely have to chat because us crafters, we got to stick together here, right? Well, guys, have a great week. Remember, no Facebook Live on Friday, but on Saturday, I am doing that online workshop. If you are interested, you're welcome to join I'll be doing some make and takes. We'll be talking about if you want to get the really good discount and join. And then again, ready? Nancy Francis, this is for you. Ready? Whoosh. There's my catalog on across there because I'm only allowed to show the front of the catalog. So I can't show the insides, but you guys would have access to that. So let me know if you're interested. It will be an online workshop so you can place your orders, get your last minute things in there, and there will be an ordering special. I got news for you, but it'd only be for those that are on there on Saturday. And it does have to be on Facebook. So if you're not on Facebook or if you know somebody who would like to do this um, and they're not on Facebook, have them set up a profile. Just don't let them friend anybody. That's the easiest way to do it is just don't accept any friends. Just let me know what your email address is. I can send you the invite and you can join it that way. So we'll go there. Oh, Kathy, you don't have your catalog yet. Oh. <gasps> Mine just came yesterday. So um, my uh, teammate up in Alaska, I know she does not have hers yet. And I don't think my mom has hers yet either. My mom's down in Florida. So, and she's also part of my team. My mom is. And there were a few of us here in um, central Ohio that we got ours yesterday. I know one showed up in Canal Winchester, which is east side of Columbus. One showed up on the north side, basically uh, Morrison High, if anybody knows that area of Columbus. She got hers. I got mine down here in Grove City, and there was somebody else, and I'm forgetting who said they got theirs too. So she said, but I'm just next door. Yes, you are just next door. Well, honey, if you lived closer, I would love to share my catalog with you, Kathy, because I know Kathy's, um, we're both part of the same um, upline. We are sidelines under our team member, our team leader. So Kathy, I know, is a demo, and she's an actual, absolute sweetheart of a nice person. We both got to go to Greece together, so it was a lot of fun. <gasps> Sue, you don't have your catalog either. Wait a minute. Are you a demo, Sue? I don't know you. I'm so sorry. Um, they are arriving here in Ohio. So check your mail today or tomorrow. Um, Stampin' Up! did say for demonstrators, we should have our catalogs by next week. For customers, you don't get to have yours until probably after the um, middle to the end of the month because we cannot expedite our catalogs. Now, some people do do what they call a mailing selector. I don't like to do that because there's no tracking on them. So I don't know when they're sent or when my people have them. And if the mail gets lost on it, Stampin' Up! won't replace them until June because they have to give it time to show up. I understand that, but I like for my people to have their catalogs. So um, mine will be here, should be by the Place the order yesterday, I'm figuring two weeks, so roughly the 20th, I'm figuring I should have them. For my hosts, I get them bound, so they would have theirs. 
and um, I usually put their name on it as well. If my host had a party or had $150 in orders, and anybody who has placed a 50, a $50 order or more since January, I have a catalog for you. If you haven't placed a $50 order since January, um, I don't have a catalog for you. But what I usually do is um, you, you pay $10 for the catalog and then you get a coupon for $10 off your first order. So it's still, you're getting it for free, but you just have to place an order is all the more it is. So I think that answers that. Um, was there any other questions on there? And let's see. Um, oh, so you're about 63 miles away from Ada. Okay, then yeah, that's too far. Um, I figure I can make it, it's I think an hour and a half to get up there, two hours to get up there. Uh, my friend Marsha says she doesn't have hers. They said Thursday. Marsha just joined. She has been a customer for a while. We met at a craft fair. Makes beautiful cards. Her granddaughter is just the sweetest thing. I love her granddaughter. Um, but she lives a little further away. So hopefully Thursday, huh? So that's tomorrow. That's okay. You can still look at it online. That's good. Sue says they are coming to Ohio too. My friends got theirs yesterday. Yep, I got mine yesterday. And it's really nice as a demonstrator. We can look at them online. It's not the same thing. I do like to, you know, rifle through the pages. And I've already got mine all marked up. I've got written in there what items I already have. I've got written in there what my mom has. I have my wish list going. I mean, I got it all going there. Um, yep, your hobby demo. That's the best kind. Oh my gosh. Um, for those of you who don't know what a hobby demo is, a hobby demo is a person that signs up solely for their own best customer. They get their 20% off and if they um, have a, an occasional party or two here or there, or if they buy enough, that's fine too, you can get up to getting 25% off. So um, for those of you who shop at the big box stores, think of it, you know, how often do you go if you get a coupon that says 20% off your entire shopping cart? but they always have exclusions on them. We're stamping up, guys. We still get 20% off even the clearance rack. We get 20% off the pre-orders. We get 20% off the catalog. We get 20% off everything. And again, with the opportunity to get 25% off. So hobby demos, they're really kind of smart because they're like, whoo I get the coupon that's good for everything in that whole catalog. And you love it because as a demonstrator, we get access a month ahead of time. So, well, not truly a month. Okay, let's go with three and a half weeks, three and three quarters weeks. So it's really close. I'm being positive that it will arrive today. Good girl. There's a hope that it comes there today. And I think that answers everything. All right, guys, have a great week. We will see you here on Sunday evening at 9 p.m. for my regular weekly Sunday night Facebook Live. Saturday will be my next Facebook Live, but that is only if you request to join the Facebook group for the online workshop. Shoot me an email. You're welcome to call. Uh, for those of you who don't know, my phone number, which is not listed here, it's on this little piece here. I'm going to bring that up here. It's 614-871-1115. And there's my email as well. Um, dawn at stampingwithdawn.com. Um, that phone number is a landline. If you try to text it, you're going to get an error message back and I'll never receive it. So just give me a holler and say, hey, Dawn, my Facebook is and here's my email and I want to be added and I'll take care of it tonight for you. So I can add you all the way up until Saturday morning. It will be Saturday at two o'clock in the afternoon, 2 p.m. on Saturday. And again, there will be an ordering special because for those of you who don't know, Monday is a bit of a holiday. It's called Mother's Day, and some of us get gift cards or cash. So this would be a great thing. Go through, get your wish list ready, and turn it over to your husband, your son, your daughter, your grandkids, your mom, your grandma, your grandpa, your dad, whomever, and say, hey, it's Mother's Day. If you're looking for something for me, guys, I would love to get this. And right now, Dawn's offering a special. Boom. Okay. So again, Saturday at 2 p.m. And it's only for the people that are part of that Facebook group. Talk to you guys later. See ya. And oh, Marsha, just what we'll watch on replay. Just got back from a walk. Good for you. It's, oh, here comes the sun. Somebody told me the sun was out. Who was that? Somebody said the sun was out. Sue, maybe? or Carol, I don't remember. Somebody said, I'm trying to scroll through here real quick. Somebody said their son was up. Sue, in northwest part of Ohio, the sun just came out. I need to go out and do yard work. So we'll see if I get it done today. Mm -hmm. I'm going to finish my cards first. So have a great week. Saturday, Facebook Live group.
for the online workshop, Sunday night, 9 p.m. for another card design or another chat. And then Monday and Wednesday are our Facebook Lives. Have a great week, guys. Bye-bye now.